So what is on the horizon? What's in my mind? What are we thinking? Oh, you like that slide. <laughs> so I, I definitely, I've looked at the insurance uh, category. Again, nearly $900 billion category. Is that big enough to enter? So we can go in a lot of directions. I like auto insurance. That may be an early product. Why do I like auto insurance? You have to have it. Show of hands, how many of you guys have auto insurance? Why? They make you. Either the state requires it, or your finance company requires it, or both require it. Every single one of you that raised your hands, on average, has an auto policy of $1,000. Of that $1,000, there's approximately $120 to $150 of profit. We think we should capture that profit. And we think that should be a residual income stream to you. So we can enter auto. We can go down the path of homeowners, renters. They've all got complexities. They've all got challenges with respect to regulation and uh, uh, brokerage requirements. But we think there's a path of least resistance to enter this insurance market. And one of the first products you're going to see from us shortly that's already under development and is in the IT integration stage is a product under the category of consumer electronics warranty. And I'm going to speak to that in a second. But immediately after that, I think we ought to enter the appliance warranty category. There are massive companies in this space. Consumer electronics warranty is a little bit over $15 billion in terms of a market possibility. On the appliance side, you've got a little company called Service Master. You've got a little company called Sears. Anybody heard of Sears? They've been in that market for a while. And again, the first category you'll see us enter is the consumer electronics warranty market. Now, show of hands. How many of you guys have been to Best Buy, bought a TV or an appliance, something, and at checkout they said, do you want to buy a warranty for this? Or how many of you guys have a, a cell phone protection plan for $10, $15, $20 a month? Again, this is a big, big market. Do you know what these things cost? Yeah, and it's all individual. I've got to have a policy for this product, a policy for that product. They add up. You're talking about hundreds of dollars a month over time. Exactly. So continuing with the theme of disruption, we think we're going to enter this marketplace with a disruptive product. And here's how it works. $29.95 a month, every device you own is covered. There's more. <laughs> but wait, there's more. Any device you buy in the future is still covered under that $29.95. When we launch this product, you'll find that we have a network of approximately 10,000 service repair technicians around the country covering all of the continental US, including rural areas. So if your device breaks and it's small, you can, you can mail it back, they'll assess it, either repair it or replace it. But if it's a large item, let's say it's a TV, a repairman will come to your house, assess it, repair it. Re if it's not repairable, they'll replace it. If it's no longer made, they'll give you a check for the replacement equivalent. And, you know, Farshad, I think it's worth noting, with Farshad coming on board and with the expertise that he has in researching these products, 
he's made a mention to us, and he's made a mention to some of the leaders over the last couple of days, his commitment to working with best-in-class partners. And to that end, Prashad, what kind of uh, effort did you make to make sure that this vendor was the one we wanted to go forward with? So when Jason says representatives come first, representatives come first. We, we do extensive due diligence when we partner with somebody. I want to make sure they're best in breed, best of class. We have appropriate economics. We have good legal contracts that your residual income streams are not at risk in any way. But beyond that, I want to make sure that our customers, your customers, collectively have a good experience. Because the last thing you need is to sell a product and hear a complaint about it. So we went to the claims call center at the Consumer Electronics Warranty Company, parked ourselves there, sat with various representatives answering the phones, and listened all day. What happens when our customers call to file a claim? Is every claim denied? Are our customers going to be upset? And we walked away from the experience saying this is an appropriate experience. This is definitely in line with the integrity that we want to provide as a company to our customers. So that's the extent we go to. Get excited about this product. It's coming up. This, pro this consumer electronics product is going to make you some money. Get excited about it. Now you got their attention. <laughs> Forget about all this noise about annual growth and total addressable market. That's going to make you some money. Let's talk about business and business products.